it's Ken again. Hi, and welcome to another 60 second review. Today, it's the Levtop T1S toy drone. The Levtop drone comes in a handy dandy carrying case and looks like an oil filter for a 1972 Ford F-150. Well, it's a good thing you brought it in. Looks like you're gonna need a whole new transmission. It comes with a box of stuff. Battery, battery charger, battery charger cord, extra propellers and prop guards. They're in there, trust me. I'm looking, but uh, there doesn't seem to be a remote control. You control it with your phone with Wi-Fi. Uh... All right, so there's no on switch. You just put the battery in there and it comes on. It's a little hard to see exactly which way it goes in because the battery is square and it could go in any old way and you have to read the little plus minus here and match it up with the plus minus on the battery and if you don't get it right well then it's you're just out of luck. Also there's a little locking mechanism here and it actually hurts your fingers to have to lock it into place. The other thing that hurts your fingers is bringing out the propeller blades. Did I mention there's no instructions? That's right, there was no instructions included in the box. So I kinda have to play detective and figure out how to undo these on my own, which I can't seem to do. You don't just jam these out. No, you have to push this down somehow while at the same time freeing this. No, that's not it. I'll refer to the instructions. Oh wait, you'd think there would be a little button on the app that would just make them pop out, but no. And this is the app, by the way. Look at these people. What in blazes are they doing? Uh, okay. Ah, oh, okay, all you need is a pair of scissors or a screwdriver. All right, so I got two out. I really want to fly this. All right, I got uh, three fourths of the propellers up. And this one won't stay up because it's broken. I was gonna tell you a little bit more about this, but uh, wow, that just came to a screeching halt. I hate to have to tell you this, but this is the biggest piece of shit toy drone I've ever seen. Well, I got the propellers back in and I got this one really, really back in. However, all is not lost because even though this is a hunk of poo and you absolutely should not buy it, there are two redeeming things about this. Number one, the USB cord is great. And two, the carrying case makes a great koozie, which is perfect because you'll need to drink a lot to forget you ever bought this piece of The love top drone is also good for recycling. In fact, if you do have a Levtop drone, don't keep it in the case that they gave you. You keep it where it belongs. Yeah. Good enough. Buh and buh. Is the box well made? Yes. Did I just break the drone? Maybe. 